is my stove top mac and cheese very easy to do yeah these are my ingredients my well tested and tried ingredients lado legs half and half elbows pasta or macaroni as we all call it lano el butter so those are my and of course about a tablespoon a tablespoon or two of cornstarch just for thickening so you don't have to go through all the pro style of doing flour so this is the easiest way so far yeah and of course you will need one egg and one egg one egg one egg one egg all to help thicken your sauce a pinch of garlic powder garlic powder, a pinch to taste, a pinch of onion powder, of course kosher salt, a pinch of kosher salt too, it's all creamy, just as I want it, so now it's already done, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the cheese, going to add the cheese to it. I need sharp cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese. Yeah, that's what we're gonna need. So there you go. You can see my cheese going in there. No fake stuff. The original mac and cheese with plenty of cheese. No, if you so. so you can see the cheese in the real stuff. course you see when you are missing you need to lower the fire you just have to kind of lower the fire so it doesn't scorch at the bottom of the pan that's your paprika for color you can add black pepper it's optional a, little, a couple of people don't like it because they think it's spicy so that's your own discretion So, yeah so basically you have to follow the instruction of how to cook the pasta uh, on the box of the pasta but you need to kind of reduce the water to half of the quantity of what they ask you to use to cook the pasta that way it gives you room to be able to add your your milk to it because I like a lot of milk creamy milk in my mac and cheese so you follow the instruction of the pasta reducing the water to half of the quantity or to third of the quantity so that way you make room for to be able to add your milk and the other ingredients so as you can see my mac and cheese is ready uh, I'll just have to pop it into the oven you know so I can get my crunchy topping so you can see that makes a medium pan of mac and cheese a medium pan of mac and cheese
so ready getting ready to do the topping so that's about the rest of the cheese that's almost like a cup of cheese a cup of cheese uh, so I'll go ahead and throw that in the bowl we need a cup of cheese this what we're gonna need for the topping a cup of breadcrumbs one third olive oil or cooking oil of your choice then a cup of cheese cheddar cheese sharp cheddar cheese then a pinch of paprika about one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon so that's our ingredients for the topping so I'll go right ahead and mix it here you go that's my oil Missing it gently. I mean, people add more breadcrumbs. You can add more if you want more, but I mean, um, if you doing mac and cheese, where kids have to eat, uh, you know, they're not too crazy about the breadcrumbs. They want their cheese. So, I always have the kids and the elderly in mind, so I don't add more breadcrumbs. So, basically, that's how it looks like. So, that's how the meat looks like. And I'll go right ahead and put it on the mac and cheese. almost ready to go in the oven the oven finishes the process so, all nice and ready to go in the oven I mean, you can set your oven to 350 if you want. If you want it more crunchy, you can send it to, you can turn the oven on to 375. But you have to pre-warm your oven whilst you are doing all this process. So, I will leave you right there and get ready and put the thing in the oven. It's our finished product. Crunchy mac and cheese. 